Dave Ryan. Could you describe yourself to me? Describe myself? Yeah, I mean, like, where'd, where'd you come from and how long have you been? Uh, the synopsis? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was born in Southern California, where, uh, in Venice, and then, uh, then Santa Monica. Lived there till I was about 12, and then lived in LA for about 10 months till I was 13. When my father decided to move back here, my father's originally from Brooklyn and couldn't handle the West Coast anymore. And then we moved a little bit upstate. Uh, then about a year after that, after we moved to Rockland County, my parents had a pretty bitter divorce, which coincided perfectly with me getting introduced to drugs. So I did that for a while. And uh, it went through a pretty serious rebellious stage which ended up getting me sort of institutionalized and bounced around from place to place. They sent me off to Israel because that's a big cure. And, uh, and then finally, after about three years of just going place to place, I finally came back um, and decided that I needed to live in downtown Manhattan and pretty much have ever since. Aaron, when I talk, Wait till I've completely finished talking so our voices don't overlap okay. on the tape. No, you did it well. But um, and tell me a little bit about. Assume that I don't know anything about your being a religious Jew. And can you, you just describe that a little bit? I was raised in an Orthodox background, but it was less. It wasn't as clearly defined or fundamentalist or hardcore as the you know the Williamsburg and Borough Park kids, or even really even the Flatbush kids. You know, it was kind of my father grew up in Williamsburg and Borough Park, but he wasn't Hasidic. So he had a very traditional, like, European sort of upbringing, which was kind of very ultra-Orthodox, but just that was more because of the setting than because of his parents, you know, belief system. They were both, you know, they were both pretty, pretty laid back religiously. They're both religious, but laid back. Uh, my mother is a convert, and she's... So she's also, she's very serious about religion, but she's also a convert, so there isn't the same kind of extremism. There's not the same, like, uh, there's not like the same core fundamentalism that's been driven into your head your whole life. So it was, it was a big deal for them when I started rebelling against the religious thing, but not, definitely not as much as, as you know, kids from more extreme backgrounds. But I am, at this point, not religious at all. Although I do have a great love for many aspects of Judaism and, and most religions. Although I think in general religion has been pretty much a failed world experiment. And, um, and we'll see. We'll see where else. You know, I've bounced back and forth a lot over the last five years religiously from very religious, from living in Israel to, for six months and deciding I want to live there forever to not at all religious and angry at God and not religious but loving God and and I realized I don't know what God is. And so it's a whole journey of self discovery. You guys pray every day, though, don't you? In some shape or form. I mean, not like in the, uh, the three, in, you know, regular times. There's three, for Orthodox Jews, there's three prayers a day there's morning, afternoon, and evening. And, and they're written out, and there's certain rituals that you have to do. So I'm definitely not doing anything on that level, but I do, you know, I do pretty much have an open dialogue with the divine being. <laughs>